Okay. I believe in peaceful protest. Any violence or trouble would persuade men that women could not be trusted to have the right to vote. Since women could hold positions as sitting at school board, but why are we not allowed to vote? If parliament made laws and if women had to obey those laws, then women should take, be able to take part in the process of making laws. Women could not vote regardless of wealth. Women had to pay taxes as men. They should have the same rights as men. In 1903, Emily Pankhurst found Women's Social and Political Union. They used violence to try to gain their rights. In 1905, the crash of a political meeting occurred. In this scene, Christabel Pankhurst and Annie Kenney were interventionists that crashed a political meeting in Manchester in order to ask two liberal politicians about their rights. Do you believe women should have the right to vote? Answer our question. Get out! Get out! Suffragists were quite happy to go to prison. They were conservative as they often went on hunger strikes as a way of protest. The Cat and Mouse Act was then released as to say that suffragists were allowed to go on hunger strikes and grow weaker and weaker. They would then be released from prison as they regained strength. They migrated back to their acts of rebellion. No, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. As mentioned before, suffragettes used violence to gain their rights. These women that were known as anarchists were interdependent of one another because they knew they needed as many women as they could get to be a part of the rebellion. It was also their self-determination that brought them together. In this scene, the suffragettes are shown using violence by burning down churches, breaking windows, and attacking politicians as they went to work. between people and their rights, chaos caused a recession among the men and their belief that women should not have equal rights reflecting theirs. During this time, men didn't have any speculation for women trying to earn their voting rights. The most famous act associated with the suffragettes was when Emily Wilding threw herself under the king's horse. The suffragettes had their first martyr. However, since she was an educated woman, it made the men wonder what a non-educated woman would do. Women have always wanted to express their nativism, but were not able to until they gained their suffrage. They received the right to vote, which allowed them to take part in electing the leaders that would make the best decisions for the country. The ratification of the 19th Amendment was the first written document that guaranteed women the right to vote. This influenced people from all over the world to immigrate to the United States since more opportunities were available. Women practiced a form of modernism as they moved from cooking work to the office place. They also helped bring up the minority and ethnic groups. There were better working conditions and higher wages as women participated in protests about that injustice too. However, the depression of women's social standings stands today as women are still being seen as less capable than men. <laughs>